Okay, so I'm now working on Lena's photo stitch project, and that'll be a whole different video, though, just going um, from the beginning of the photo stitch process to actually finishing up with getting it digitized into an embroidery pattern. But anyway, this is what I've got right here. Um, over here on your left hand side, you'll see that's all the different colors and for what each color is for and over here is your color guide um lena is actually a rather pale child and her hair is actually lighter than this just in the photo it looked darker so i'm actually gonna switch up my colors a little bit um i've noticed that i usually end up switching out colors on all the ones i do so um gonna try to lighten up her hair a little bit with the threads and I'm lightening up the pink because it was actually showing a pretty hot pink on her shirt and her lips um, anyway so what I got going I usually do that and start looking at my colors and then I try to pick and choose and line up my colors um, to make sure they're all gonna fit together pretty well and this is what I got going on. This, these are all the colors lined up that I'm going to use. So hopefully that's going to turn out good. Another thing I pay a lot of attention to is skin tone. Um, like for instance when I did Ryan, she has more yellow undertones in her skin. So I used a yellow backing fabric. That way whatever shows through is complementary to uh, the photo stitch itself. Whereas Lena has more pinkish undertones to her skin. So I'm going to do this on some pink fabric. I really wish it was a more um, muted pink. But this might do pretty well. If not, I'll just go back. But this is all I have on hand right now. So I'm just going to use this pink fabric. Hopefully not too much shows through. But what does, hopefully it will be complementary to the picture. Um... So yeah, that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to sew it, and I hope I'm not making y'all dizzy by going back and forth, sew it on my Allure Plus, as usual, and when I get started with that, I will then come back again and film some of it. I'm going to try to do sort of a um, first to finish type thing, so... Anyway, there you have that. Be back. Okay, hey, I'm back. I have now gotten my digitized photo stitch design um, downloaded on my card. I use the PE Design Plus. So we take that card out. And it goes right into the machine. Right here. Doing that in an odd way, but okay. And I've got my fabric all hooped and ready to roll. And I've already gotten my machine threaded with my first color. So, try to put this on and get going, and I will be back again in a few minutes. So, we've got our computer card in here with our design on it, we've got our hoop connected. Now we're going to go over here and pick our pattern. There. There. And I have my settings to where each segment it tells me which color I need. And to co kind of coincide along with that, I always keep my color chart pulled up on my computer so I can reference if I need to since I do tend to change colors and stuff um, before and sometimes during the process. So anyway, now I'm going to make sure I have everything lined up the way I want it. So we're going to check our layout. And now we are going to see our um, embroidery area by choosing this. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to go adjust that a little bit. And because I have a little bit more fabric down on this end than I do on that end. And if I want to add in some, uh, some text, like her name, her birthday, her age, something like that, then I'll have some extra fabric there. So, be right back. Just about ready to start and before I do though let me just talk about stabilizer for a minute I really didn't feel like fighting with um, tear away today plus I wanted a super super smooth surface to work with with no gaps or bunching or anything like that so I opted for the iron-on stabilizer I usually like to put a couple of layers of that when I'm doing something like this um, it adheres really well, but it also comes off really well, too, very easily. So anyway, let's get started. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and just stop right there and... Cut our stitch. Let's see. There we go. changes on here so we are going to occasionally uh, do some trimming switch over to our cream yellow and then we'll get back to it. Okay, back again and we're ready for our next color. So we're going to let this run and whoop, let's see, get this stitch out of here. go ahead and let this cream color run and I will be back when it is time for our next color change. And hopefully there won't be any issues between now and then. Ok, 
Okay, time for our next color. And what I'm probably going to do is go ahead and get through several of these colors and then come back because otherwise it's going to be a really long video and you're going to be bored to death. So um, let's get started on this third color. And then we only have like nine more to do. So did some trimming and jump stitches on that last color chain. So another color or two, I'll do some more. Okay, be back in a bit. Okay, so we're on color number nine now. Just did some more um, refiguring and change this color to a more golden color. And as you can see, it's really starting to transform into a face. But I just wanted to update. I'm going to let this go ahead and run. Do the last few colors. And we will check back again and finish up. So this is the last color. picture turned out a lot darker than what she actually is so I had to sort of compensate for that and hopefully this thing's going to come out great. It's looking pretty good so far so we'll just see what happens at the end but yeah this is the last color and I'm getting in a lot of the shadowing and all of that. to add in my border, so I'm going to have to add that in myself uh, instead of automatically in the design, but that's okay, no big deal. I don't necessarily need a border, but I would like to have one. I just, I guess I got anxious and I forgot, so. Anyway, I'm going to let this thing go ahead and run its course like it needs to, and I will be back with you shortly. sewing and let's see here we go I've already actually um, clipped the jump stitches and all but I'm trying to get where you can see it well but that's Lena it looks like Lena it's kind of hard to get it at a really good angle but up close just a big old bunch of 
stitches and then it comes out looking like that. So I think it turned out well. Again, I did a lot of changing up of threads and stuff like that. I tried to get some of the blondness that's in her hair in there because this really had it showing up very dark. But uh, I think it turned out nicely. There, let's see. And, uh, I need to get it out of the frame and stuff too. I'll post a picture along with this um, after I get it in a frame and all. Anyway, that's it. Very pleased. So, here's the finished product. I went ahead and made my own border around it since I had forgotten to add one. So I made a border and I stuck it in a frame and voila! There it is. And I'm pretty well pleased with it. Pretty well pleased. I do need to get a set of flesh tone colors and stuff but for the most part what I had worked just fine and, uh, and has so far. So um, Anyway, I really like it, and I hope you did too, and if you have any questions about the machine or about the embroidery, um, feel free to ask. I'll also be doing a video here pretty soon on using the rather um, PE Design Plus Photo Stitch option. So, anyway, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.